He says here, when one grows and is educated through Kabbalah, defined only by the aim to bring contentment to one's maker and not at all for self-love, he is educated and grows through that light that grows him and educates him. Otherwise, who? I thought, what? Uh, mom and dad. If it's the upper Abba and Ima, then yes. But if it's mom or dad or some teacher at school, then who are you talking about? Can I educate my child and bring him up towards this? What can you give him? Oh, wait, what does it mean? Can you give a child the same education as it says here to be educated through the Kabbalah that he keeps and does everything in order to bestow? How can you do that? Even may you be Rabbi Akiva, Moses, you can't do it. the right environment. There has to be an environment. You as an educator, how can you say that you can educate your child? No way. You won't be able to influence him whatsoever. We see good kids or bad kids. Does it depend on the kind of home they came from? No. There is such beautiful homes Mom, dad, educated, intelligent, and everything. Not that uh, on the inside there's hidden cruelty or something like in some cases, but really. And they invest everything in their children. And, and what? The kid is not influenced by them whatsoever. He is influenced by the environment suitable for him. And where is that environment? In the backyard or at school or someplace. Where the environment is, that's where he gets all his viruses. So what advice can you give a mother and a father that hear you now? I tell them, make an environment suitable for your children, suited for your children. Then you can influence them. Otherwise, you think another circle, another something, nothing. He is not educated by that.